Hey, uh, Cockerpunk here. It's been a little while since I had a video, and I personally wanted to make a video uh, in response to Simon's series of, uh, it looks like five videos. Um, I'm on his channel right now here. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of Simon's. I met him at CPX, talked to him for about five minutes, and that's all I got in, unfortunately. But he's a pretty sweet guy. I've always admired his work, uh, his old work with the auto mags and stuff like that. Um, I think he's a great guy. He's a smart guy. He definitely knows what he's talking about as far as the science of paintball is concerned, and it's great that he uh, at least said we did good science. Um, <laughs> so I did want to do like a two-part thing here. First, I'm going to plead with Simon. Then secondly, I'm going to respond to a few of his videos. So first off, I'm going to plead with Simon. Please, 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 please put politics aside and stop in by at Punk Works. Um, I really see, uh, you know, what we're doing in Punk Works is bigger than Tech PB and bigger than PB Nation and the politics of it all and sponsorships and what, what we're doing there is trying to find out and edu we're, we're not just trying to find out the truth because the truth isn't really all that important if only two of us know about it. What we're also trying to do is educate the general public, and I think that's your goal with your channel um, and you releasing this information. Um, you're attempting to educate the general public of paintball, and that's the same goal we have. Um, you know, I, I happen to like Mike. I think he's a good guy. Uh, his temper is certainly a little bit of a problem, but, you know, we all have our flaws, and I'm not going to dress him up and make him out to be perfect or anything like that. And I guess you guys have had some, you know, whatever, so that's okay. Um, you know, if you don't like him, that's cool, but I would ask that we can set something like that aside, and, and, you know, it's like this, okay? We could have picked MCB. I could have talked to Carter, and I could have said, you know, Carter, a lot of your guys are interested in what we do, and a lot of the people on this forum are really big fans of what we do. Why don't we put uh, a section up in your uh, forum dedicated to this? You know, but then the people from PB Nation wouldn't want to come on. Then the people from, you know, like, no matter where we put that forum, there's going to be a political reason why somebody doesn't want to go there. And we're trying to overcome that. Um, we're trying to overcome the politics of it all to get to the truth of it all. Because that's really been the problem through PayPal is the politics of it all. Is You can't release your top secret information. Jack Wood can't release his top secret information. I don't even think Smart Parts has any top secret information. <laughs> you know, uh, the politics of it all has always been the problem. And... You know, you're a really smart guy. I admire you. Probably one of the most out of anybody in paintball currently. And it really is disappointing that you can't, you feel that you can't be part of Tech PB and you can't be part of Punk Works and the testing we do. Um, it's wonderful. I think your goal is the same as ours, like I said. And um, I just would ask that we all put politics aside and... Uh, and, you know, if our goal is to educate paintball players about the general physics and operation of paintball guns and paintballs in the air and all that stuff, then let's, let's do that. And let's not let things like, you know, Mike's posted gay porn. I don't care what Mike does. I don't care. As long as he gives me a space, gives me a platform to educate people, gives me... I don't care what he does. Um, assuming he isn't doing anything negative, which I don't think he is, because personally my defense of Mike Phillips is he's teaching kids not to cheat. He's teaching kids to uh, you know, think rationally about their gear and the sport in general. And I think that's a good thing. Um, and as long as he does that, I'm going to be a fan of his. Uh, you know, I disagree with him. I think the Mini is a great gun. I think it's super reliable. I disagree with him. Underboring is better than overboring. I disagree with him all over the place. But as long as you know the main idea is right, and and we have the same main idea, I I'm disappointed that you don't feel like you can participate in something like that. Um, I just I feel like it's bigger than PB Nation and Tech PB and that whole thing. What we're doing. Um, and since our goal is the same, you should come on, come on. <laughs>
having some really cool talks and your data is uh, some of the best out there. Jack Wood's got some good stuff too in his sleeves. Uh, I gotta rattle him some more to see if any candy comes out. Um, but my second part of this video, all right, my begging and pleading is hopefully over. I might toss in some more later. <laughs> um, but until then, uh, I did think your uh, paintball breaking in a glass barrel was very interesting. Um, we talked a little bit in private messages, and I won't go into that exactly, but I do want people to look at that, and um, that's the same pattern of explosion that we saw in our paintball barrels, which unfortunately... I did not take any pictures of. I know, I'm a terrible scientist. Um, every time I took off the barrel of a barrel break, first off, instantly, taking off the hopper, you know if it's a barrel break or not. Um, taking off the barrel, you can instantly see a barrel break as well, and it's exactly that pattern, where it's about three quarters of an inch to maybe half an inch into the barrel, and then the barrel is pretty much coated from there on out. Uh, so I wanted to point that out. But that we saw that with every barrel break in that test. There was no such thing as a mid-barrel break. It was always right at the breach uh, or, you know, within an inch of the breach. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, let's see here. The paintball firing in slow motion through the glass barrel was also very interesting because, like you pointed out, the O-ring deflection was extreme, and that was very cool because uh, it kind of gives us a scale as far as um, any sort of deflections on the paintball. If the O-ring is deflecting by that much, and that's not very much if you think about it in terms of inches, thousands of an inch, if the, if the O-ring is deflecting by that much, that pretty much shows you that even though we saw in the barrel break test what would appear, you know, on first chance that the paintball spreads out and loads itself and then blows up in the barrel and then just shit flies down the barrel, that um, the the ball is not actually being deflected by any major amount. Um, so there's no wobulation, there's none of this smart parts bullshit. Um, I thought that was very interesting. The high speed of the high speed shooting, that's always cool to see. I, people look so stupid when they're walking a trigger in high speed because it's like... Anyway, um, I would like to see you uh, put to the test some of these you know, pro players and find the fastest pro player. I don't even know. I don't keep track of pro players. Find the fastest pro player and you check them on there and see how fast you can legitimately shoot without bounce. And uh, then we'll, we'll keep that in the, in the oh, I can shoot 18 on true semi. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> People. Um, but I do think, uh, I, I did get the loader video. Uh, I thought that was a very fascinating video. We were talking about that at CPX, how it almost operates like a fluid, um, and that is very, very true. Uh, your freeway mod, I don't have one yet, I will be buying one. Uh, your freeway mod looks pretty sweet, and, um, and it, it does look like a little thermal fluids, uh, kind of, uh, making the flow smooth again, uh, fin there. Um, anyway, I, you know, you can feel free to respond to this, and, um, but I just... I think our goal is the same, Simon, and I think that we should be able to put our politics aside and be scientists for just a little while. Uh, if you don't want to go on any other part of TechBB, I don't care. I don't even go on <laughs> any other part of TechBB, really, <laughs> besides maybe the pump forums. Uh, I'm a terrible moderator, but... Uh, you know, I just think the politics of it is what's always gotten in the way, and it will continue to get in the way, even after we, uh, you know, pretty much unite the conversation about science and paintball. Um, I, I just find it sad, and I think it's, it's something that uh, is holding back paintball, and uh, I think we need something like Punkworks, where we can all get together, throw marketing aside, and actually talk about the mechanics of it all. And, um, I, yeah, I just find it sad that you, uh, feel like you can't participate in that. Um, you're welcome, uh, to join. I personally invite you to join. Uh, we got some really smart people. We got, you know, Jack Wood is in there, but more than that, we got Lurker, we got this guy, Moistar, we got, uh, you know, Asriel, we got 
Me, Bryce, um, Ode, o Orden, I don't know, I'm just coming up with names that I've seen a lot in punk works off the top of my head. Um, I hope you can, you feel like you can join a community like that. We're not all, you know, like, 693 Overboard, all paint all the time, never change, you know, Mike is God kind of people. Um, it's a, it's a very different atmosphere than any paintball form I've been on, so, uh, I hope you can join. And I would love to discuss your videos there. So, thanks for watching, and uh, for everybody else, thanks for tuning in too. So, see ya.